let's study the nature of roots of a quadratic equation. Now there's an expression called discriminant when we are solving quadratic equations. This is a very important expression to know. This expression is b square minus 4ac where a, b, c essentially are the coefficients are the coefficients of any quadratic equation. So the general equation ax square plus bx plus c. So a, b, c essentially correspond to this. Now the nature of roots would depend on the behavior of b square minus 4ac. So number one what points that we need to know when we are looking at the roots is that if you have b square minus 4ac as greater than or equal to 0, this difference is greater than or equal to 0 or positive, that means this will give us real roots. Okay, Roots are real in this case. Now why is that happening? Why is that happening? Let me just tell you. So when we are solving ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 for the root x. x essentially equals to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac whole upon whole thing upon 2a okay twice of a. Now if what you have inside this root is greater than or equal to 0, which is b square minus 4ac, if whatever comes out of this root, you can take square root only of positive. That will give you a real square root, right? So in that case, the roots will turn into real. So herein we have certain, certain cases, which is essentially that if you have b square minus 4ac, if it is strictly, strictly greater than 0, okay, not equal to 0, but strictly greater than 0, in that scenario, what will you have? You will have some positive number out here. So, it comes out of the root. So, you will have roots which will be minus b plus that number that comes out upon 2a minus b minus that number that comes out upon 2a. So, that would give us the case where your roots are real and unequal because something is getting added and subtracted that will give you two different numbers right so roots are real and unequal in this case okay roots are real and unequal in this case in the second case that i would want to discuss is what happens when what is inside this root is equal to zero Okay, if this is equal to 0, that means, that means whatever comes out is 0, square root of 0 is 0, right? So, you will have a single root which is minus b by 2a. So, essentially what we call it is that you have real roots which are equal, okay? So, you have two roots, roots are real and equal and they will equal to what minus b by 2a they will equal to minus b by 2a and the third case that I would like to discuss is when whatever is inside the square root is a perfect perfect square so, if b square minus 4ac is a perfect square, it's a perfect square, then roots are rational. And if it is not perfect, then it is, they are irrational. So, if it is a perfect square, then a perfect number comes out of the root, right? Then roots will be roots are rational roots are rational and if not then roots are 
irrational because you will have some root attached so the number will turn irrational roots are irrational okay now another case that i would like to discuss so whatever the first case was that when whatever is inside this root b square minus 4 ac is greater than or equal to 0 what happens if it is less than 0 if b square minus 4 ac is less than 0 then what will happen you will have imaginary roots that means it will give you a complex number a complex number comes out so the roots will be roots are imaginary and unequal unequal and imaginary for a simple reason because what is inside here is negative so negative square root of a negative will give you an imaginary number right so you will have minus b plus minus an imaginary number upon two eights these will give you unequal roots which are imaginary 